shotgun shells. 80 shotgun shells. Well, I have 88 on me, currently. What the hell? And I also have plenty of ammo for my uh, sniper rifle. Hmm. It's not 80, but, uh... Still a respectable amount? Still quite a lot. Okay. But can we even kill stuff there if we don't have a horde beacon? Yes, zombies spawn there, regardless. I wonder how you know. Almost like I've been there. In a single player server. Or aren't you just a curious explorer? Make sure you grab plenty of pumpkins. For your rations. I already got melons, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I think what I really need is some medicine. Mm. Might go hit up a hosp hit up the hospital real quick. You need anything? Eh. I'm doing all right healing items wise. Three um. Three dressings, one, one splint. Nothing too crazy, but I'm doing all right. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll also um. I'll, I'll go into town, and you can stay here like a like a good housewife. One thing to mention when uh, we were last playing, you know how I was dying of infection. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I saw when I was looking back over the footage when I was dying of infection? I saw a carjack. The yeah, thing that we were looking for. I don't think we need it anymore. No, but we could still use it. I will consider your request. Also, you took the vehicle with basically no fuel. Right then. I know, that's why I took the jerry can too. Oh. Okay. I'm assuming you didn't want me to take and inevitably wreck the jeep. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, he says. I don't know. I mean, we could get rid of it then. Yeah, but I don't want to get rid of that jeep. I like it. I, I can't stick enough any more rifle racks for more storage on the outside of it, though. Oh my god, it doesn't matter. Storage! <laughs> All you need is to be able to take enough for yourself per, for every trip. Mm -hmm. You don't need to carry a small army's worth of supplies with you everywhere you go. <laughs> Why not? Because it's just... it's just inefficient. Why? Wouldn't you like you the option need to, to have switch that many from having a sniper rifle to an assault rifle when it's you run out of bullets? It's literally why we have a fucking base for all of our supplies to be. Also, we don't need to uh, I don't know if you changed the uh, XP rewards, but I just got one oh. experience from chopping down God, a tree. Fuck. I completely forgot about that. Do you want me to restart and change it real quick? Yeah, if you want. Also, it's a damn good thing I bought the bus, because uh, it may or may not already be stuck. Through no real fault of my own, if I'm being honest. So, in other words, don't let Kingo drive ever. Got it. Hey, it's not my fault. That's the second vehicle you've now gotten wedged or stuck okay, somehow. Okay, never mind. It's not stuck. It's not stuck. Uh-huh. I fixed it. I may have used up all the remaining fuel trying to get it unstuck, though. That's fine. You have a supply of fuel. Yes, I do. 
and it's not really enough. Fuck, why did... Where did they go? That was like a group of. Where the fuck? Are you okay? We may have just lost four shotgun shells for no reason. Uh. And how did that happen? Wait, never mind. Um. Yes, I gave RJ his tablet. Are you sure? You yes. <laughs> Gotta make sure your dog has its iPad. I don't know whether to edit that out of the video now. <laughs> because, on one hand, I kinda have to. On the other hand, funny joke. Uh, so, Mr. Mr. Australia Man is finally taken a kid to my senses. Mm. No, I just enjoy situational humor. I I'm sure you'd uh, you'd be six feet in the ground before you ever admitted that I was funny. <laughs> That silence is me trying to not trying to run over all of the zombies. Yeah, yeah. Hello, white muscle car. I might come back for you later. Also, we really need to figure out where the hell that um T thirty four is. Yeah. That's all. So, one downside of the fact that I respawned and, uh... Yeah, I no longer have the car, Jack. That's unfortunate. Yeah. On the bright side, this does seem like a good place to... <coughs> ...for cloth and maybe get the backpack. Another one. Yep. Another one. Another one. Oh, hey, I found a I compass. I swear this would not be anywhere near as much of a pain in the ass if you didn't have to have so much rope. Yep. I mean, why do you need four pieces of rope? I mean, just one or two should be enough, right? <laughs> Considering I mean, that it's I mean, in-game displayed it's as a coil of rope? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just one... One coil should be more than enough. Yeah. More... More medicine. More medicine. If need be, I can okay, give you more yeah. medicine as well, since I found some in the shopping mall. Nah, I think I'm at a good point now. It would, however, be very prudent to have a stockpile in case we, uh... <laughs> Mushrooms are probably easier to stockpile, to be honest. Yeah, but they... I mean, they help, but they really don't help much. When we restore, like, two points. Hence why having a lot of... No, they do a lot more than two points. I only did two points when I used them. Because okay, I remember I finding need... a bunch and basically being able to just completely heal my radiation thing. Hmm. Well, maybe you're just more attuned to the shroom. <laughs> Don't know why. What if, what if there was, like, a, a survival game with, like, hidden stats? Like, 
stats that were just beyond your control, what could give you random, like, benefits or bad things. That could like, be... just having one character... Like, to having just one character that could just eat poisonous shit, and, and another that, like, had better handling of guns or something. Hmm. That is somewhat represented in this game by the fact that, well, you can pick what things. No, that you no, have. no, no, it, it, no, 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 no. It's not something you pick. It's right. just something you have by default, and the game just doesn't tell you about it. Right. Like just hidden stats and shit. I think that would be an interesting concept. If nothing else, I think it would be really funny. To see people get confused over it. Like, like our argument that we were having now. Like, why, why, mushrooms don't heal me that much. Yeah, they do. Why do they heal you more? Speaking of healing, <laughs> screw those runners. Oh yeah, they're fucking awful. Speaking of <gasps> mushrooms, I have one. That I, plus three immunity, it says in the thing. Hmm. Okay, so it was yeah, it three is. points. Yeah, it is. Three points, not two. Yep. Big difference. Especially when you have five of them, yeah. Because they are relatively common and easy to find. <laughs> oh god, that scared the shit out of me. He literally just fucking snuck up on me. Oh, man, th this is like this is the one game that that should not be scary in the slightest, yet it still fucking terrifies me sometimes. Like no matter how like geared up I am, whenever I hear the sound of like a zombie coming at me from, from somewhere here. I'm done. Like, every time. I guess what you mean. Like, this game should not be scary or stressful. I mean, just look at it. <laughs> Only three ropes. Come on now. Man, I don't know how you're having such a hard time managing your inventory. Because I is forget to... to empty it on a regular basis. The key is to just stock it up full of consumables and things of that nature. I am so full of consumables. Well, you're not cycling through your stuff properly. You should... The thing a lot of people struggle with is not knowing when to use their supplies. And that's how you get Okay, do you want to know my current health, food, water, and radiation levels? Yeah. 100 for food. 100 health, 95 for food, 94 for water, 99 for radiation. Well, seems like you've been taking a lot better care of yourself than me. Yes. This is why we have a problem. Also, I have a rope if you... I have two rope if you need it. I think more so the fact that you died recently. No, I haven't. I know you have. No. When did I die recently? But yeah, just uh, just wait a little bit and I'm sure you'll be going through your, your food and water supplies. You're right. I've done it. I've got two Mark II backpacks. Now Very I have good. a Mark III backpack. Oh, yes. The motorbike horn is very loud. Angel, I've done it. I've got the Mark IV pack. Nice. I cried many, many bloody, sweaty tears, but it was all worth it in the end.
Okay, yep, yep. The muscle car is now... fine. I... I can't... I can't possibly count how many times I've alerted a zombie by crafting something. Yeah, that's... that's... It's just, it's something you don't think about. Like, you're, you're always like, oh, if I shoot, I'll probably attract the zombie. Oh, if I run around, I'll probably attract the zombie. But no one's ever like, yeah, if I, if I like, craft a fucking rat, I'll probably attract the zombie. Because <laughs> I mean, no one I thinks about it. No one thinks that apparently putting duct tape on things is loud. I mean... To be fair, I'm rolling into the duct tape. I, I don't understand how it would really attract a lot of zombies on the server. But like, a different form. I'm not sure what the power is or something. Fair enough. Also, our bus station no longer has a bus. What are you saying? What are you. Oh, wait, never mind. It does. Because, uh, remember the weirdness that was. Everything was as it was before I left. Yeah. yeah. That includes the bus. Oh, wait, shit. So that means the bus is at the hospital. No, there may in fact now be two duplicated buses. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Oh, uh, nope. The bus is definitely not present. Okay. So that means I'm gonna have to call in an Uber. Oh, god. Oh. Do you know what? I can probably walk to the prison from here.